What's up, what's good, what's poppin', what's crackin', what's percolate, what's really good in the hood, it's your man Theo Butler. And you know what I love, you know, Monday after Sunday, you get to play quarterback, you know, what, Monday morning quarterback or something like that. Um, but, yeah, uh, I I love it. I love it. I, it's because sport, great st sports news comes out on, on the weekend. You get your best sports news on the weekend, and sometimes you just get some stuff, you be like, ah, I knew it. I knew it was coming. Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon. Le'Veon. You know I'm actually a fan of yours. The whole juice thing. Yeah. I was, I was feeling you when you when you when you said something to a boy over there in Cincinnati, the running back, because you had started the whole, you know. Alternate glove thing You would wear one color on one hand And one color on the other hand And everything like that You had that patient running style Rapper too Not on Dame's level Dame is on a whole nother level Maybe you and Dame should do a collab Either way mm -hmm. Be a feature on Dame You Shaq You was even in the video game You know you wasn't a playable character But you was in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare game I know I got it You you was in that Your ceiling Nike was looking at you and everything like that And You know how I know you got beside yourself Because when Tyron Matthew Snapped on you You said When you got the new You said with Pittsburgh No when Tyron Matthew I don't want to misquote him Somebody said maybe you should have stayed in Pittsburgh You said Pittsburgh wouldn't give you the money that you wanted. But they gave you everything else that you needed. And that's where you young brothers get it twisted sometimes. You miss the cart for the horse. You do. You don't you can't see the forest for the trees. Pittsburgh gave you what you needed. Prestige, which was why you were in that video game. Lay beyond. Which is why. And it when, when I say Pittsburgh, I'm talking about the whole organization. You talk about people not being truthful. You say, we don't know what Andy Reid told you. What about what you told the Steelers brass? Mike Tomlin. The owner. The general manager. What about when you kept waffling back and forth between I'm going to show up for camp and not show up for camp? See, we can sit around here and say, you know, Maybe Mike Tomlin them and the coaching staff or whatever, but your peers, i.e. your teammates, were generally hurt. Ge seriously hurt. They were hurt. They were genuinely hurt. That's what I meant to say. They were genuinely hurt as if you had told them one thing and did something different. I'm going to be honest with you, Le'Veon. I'm kind of biased in this particular situation because I honestly believe you, Ben Roethlisberger, and Antonio Brown cost the Steelers at least two Super Bowl championships, three trips to the Super Bowl. Because all of y'all were selfish. I can't wait till Ben get up out of there. I can't. I cannot wait till Mike Tomlin get his quarterback in there. I've literally watched you three when y'all should have did what y'all supposed to do is to kill the bees. Y'all let y'all own individual selfishness Keep that team where it was. You left Pittsburgh and went to the Jets. How did you think that was going to work out? You went from a playoff team to a sorry team. Was that what you wanted? So the Jets gave you the money that you wanted, but they didn't give you the offensive line, the quarterback, nor the receiving crew that you needed. You see how that works? Then you went to play for Kansas City. That's a pass-heavy offense, and their backfield basically loaded. Was that what you needed? Hmm. Your problem, Le'Veon Bell, is like way too many other people. You don't know how to look in the mirror and hold yourself accountable. When you were rising to the star, because mind you, Pittsburgh put up with a lot of your BS. I'm a Pittsburgh still a fan, not a fanatic. Let's not act like that. You know what you was doing in Pittsburgh. Yeah, you couldn't stay healthy. And when you was healthy, you couldn't stay off the weed. And it's not like you didn't know when you was getting pissed test. 
You selfish, bro. The sad part about it is you selfish even when it comes to you and you can't even see it, which is why ain't nobody picking up the phone right now to call you, which is why you butt hurt about how Andy Reid may or may not have misled you. But think about it, bro. You've done the same thing your damn self. Yeah, I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.